Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss what is Brahmagupta's formula and how can we use it to find out the area of any cyclic quadrilateral. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. So before learning the formula for finding out the area of a cyclic quadrilateral, let us first discuss what actually is a cyclic quadrilateral. So a cyclic quadrilateral is also known as a concyclic quadrilateral and the definition of it is as follows. A quadrilateral that is inscribed in a circle is called as a cyclic quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral which is simply inscribed in a circle is called as a cyclic quadrilateral. So over here you can see that we have a circle and inside of it we have a quadrilateral inscribed A, B, C, D. Now there are many properties of a cyclic quadrilateral but the most important one is that the opposite angles are supplementary in a cyclic quadrilateral. So angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degree and angle B plus angle D is also equal to 180 degree. Now this is because angle A is opposite to angle C and angle B is opposite to angle D and since it is a cyclic quadrilateral, these two points must follow. Now the Brahmagupta formula that we are going to discuss is derived from Brett Schneider's formula for finding out the area of any general quadrilateral. So by Brett Schneider's formula, you can find out the area of any general quadrilateral and we will also discuss that formula in our upcoming videos. So the Brahmagupta's formula by the help of which we can find out the area of any cyclic quadrilateral is as follows. The formula is under root of S minus A into S minus B into S minus C and finally S minus C. So the formula is under root of S minus A into S minus B into S minus C into S minus D where A, B, C and D are the lengths of the sides of the quadrilateral and S is the semi-perimeter of the quadrilateral which is equal to sum of the sides divided by 2. So the semi-perimeter is nothing but A plus B plus C plus D whole divided by 2. So by the help of this Brahmagupta's formula, we can calculate the area of any cyclic quadrilateral given that the length of all the sides are given. Now let's see how we can derive the Heron's formula by using the Brahmagupta's formula. Now for those who don't know what is Heron's formula, Heron's formula is a formula that is used for calculating the area of a triangle given that the length of all the sides are given. So if we have a triangle, let's say ABC, and the lengths of the sides are A, B and C respectively, then the area of this triangle is equal to under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, where S is the semi-perimeter of the triangle which is equal to A plus B plus C whole divided by 2. So you can see that Heron's formula is quite similar to the Brahmagupta's formula and the only difference is that instead of S we have S minus D in Brahmagupta's formula. So what we can do is we can put D as 0 in Brahmagupta's formula and we will simply get the Heron's formula. So if we take D as 0 in Brahmagupta's formula, our fourth side will become 0 and we will simply get a triangle with length of sides A, B and C respectively and the semi-perimeter will become A plus B plus C whole divided by 2 and the Brahmagupta's formula will transform into the Heron's formula. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt, then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy. Oh!